Good morning, y'all. It's Lippy. I got a chainsaw here that I am stupid excited to review. Now, I am not paid to do this. I'm not sponsored to do this. Actually, I was offered this chainsaw for strictly my personal review. And the reason why that I accepted the offer is because my son-in-law has one very similar. Our good friend, Miss Allison, has one very similar. This is the Shaker Mini Saw. Y'all, I know a lot of you ladies out there, it's hard to run a chainsaw, as it is for me. So I have to wait till Mr. Buddy is home to help me. But there's little tasks throughout the day that I say, self, I wished I had my own chainsaw. But one that I can control because I do have a plate in this hand that runs here and down this middle finger to the middle of my hand right here. So even though I'm left-handed, it still takes two hands. And when they offered this, I was like, could this be the answer? Because I like to get projects done and not have to wait till he gets in from work or on the weekends. Guys, this may be the answer. I don't know. But what I did do is I took it out of the box and I did charge the battery. So I'm gonna drop the camera and I'm gonna show you what comes in this. Now, I've not used this. I'm gonna use it for the first time with y'all. But we're gonna look and see what all they offer with this mini change chainsaw. And I'll leave all the information in the description. And it's budget friendly. That was another key thing, because I've priced some of them. I have a Ryobi, I do like Ryobi. Ryobi doesn't cut as clean as I would like it to, but I still love it. So let's look at what comes with this one, and we're gonna see how well it performs. I'm kind of excited, y'all. Okay, this is a Shaker Mini Chainsaw. I took everything out of the box and I did charge the battery. It took about 40 minutes. Now, I do like the fact that it doesn't have a charging station and it's just a 20 volt. But I was like, how do I know that it's charged? Well, it lights up green, a LED green. Like I said, it took 40 minutes. I don't know how long this is gonna last. I'm hoping it lasts pretty good during the day. So I did charge my battery. The battery is not heavy. Here's this chainsaw. The chainsaw's not heavy. But I'll look at this more in just a minute because it did come with a manual. Now, a couple of the safety instructions actually doesn't apply to this model, but it's very clear to read um, you know, some manuals come and they can not be very well written. This one is very well written. It also come with this wrench. This is for adjusting the blade itself. And I had to hunt, but it didn't take me long. Now, where is it again? Right here. To adjust the chain chain blade as well right here. But like I said, it didn't take me long. The instructions showed me, but I didn't see it correctly. And it did come with a little bottle of oil. Now, if I was gonna be pruning fruit trees, I would use vegetable oil. That's on any chainsaw, guys. If you use a mineral oil or maybe a three-in-one oil, WD-40, things of that nature, that could hurt your fruit tree. So just remember, if you're gonna use any type of saw, make sure it's vegetable oil. Okay, now let me get my glasses on. Now I'm gonna show you the first thing I noticed. Remember I said I'm left-handed. Well, look, the button that you engage to turn it on is for a right-handed person. They did not make it ambidextrous. And I thought, okay, I'm not right-handed, but 
it is where I can push with the center of my index finger and engage. So I like that. I do like the safety guard. That's one of the first things I noticed here. I do like that this has a safety guard for my fingers. Because I don't know if a lot of you ladies have ever used a chainsaw. A lot of times there's nothing here and we find ourselves when we're hitting that button, our fingers are out. Okay, when you have them fingers out, a branch, a twig, anything, or if this gets hung up in a wood knot, it can pop back. I like this. But this strap here, it's very tight fitting. Um, I'm not going to tell you that I would use this. In my opinion, I would take this off. That's just my opinion. But I also was looking like, where's the oil reservoir? There's not one, guys. That was a bonus for me. One, I don't know properly how to use the oil reservoirs, how much oil to add. There again, I have to rely on my husband to do so. But this is you just oil your chain, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and oil this because we're going to use it. And I'm going to oil it just like I would any other chain. I'm going to run down the side. And then I'm going to bring... Well, it's supposed to be tight. I can't move it. There we go, a little bit. So I'm going to have to adjust this to loosen it so I can slide the chain and properly lubricate this. So I did not check that. Like I said, I'm giving an honest review. So I'm going to have to loosen this up to properly oil this. And I will probably need some help if they've got it on here really tight. Nope, they don't. Great. So let's see. All right, it gave it a little bit of slack, so I'm going to have to go into the inside. And that's why I wanted to do this review with you guys on here. Because women, they do not normally make hand tools that accommodate us ladies. Let's be honest. Now, see, that was perfect. And I'm not cutting this camera off, guys. This is my first go-round, and this is you guys' first go-round. All right, let's see. Perfect. Now I'm going to tighten it back up, find my little screw. And I'm seeing that this is a lot easier than that chainsaw that Buddy got me that he thought would uh, work better for me. There we go. I don't want it too tight. It's not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go one notch off and I'll tell you why I'm doing that. That'll work, let's see. Because I wanna be able to pull without too much slack. That's perfect. Okay. So, we've got it lubricated. Now, I'm going to see how it feels with the battery on it. Okay. Y'all know Lippy does not practice before I do a video. Now, I'm going to see if it changes the... Oh, it balances good. It balances really, really good. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I'm going to struggle because I'm left-handed. So let me try it like this. Not bad. Not bad. Now, the manual does say that you can't cut more than four inches. Well, I can see why. I'm not even sure that's four inches, but I'm going to get a tape measure and measure it. Um, but... I'm liking the safety on it, but I want to see how it performs. But as far as me holding this with the battery on, guys, this is, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Yep. I'm liking the weight of this. 
All right, we're gonna go give this a try. We're gonna give this a try, see how it performs. But like I said, I'm not someone who will give a review after I've practiced three or four times. I want the video to be perfect. No, I wanna open a box. Like I said, I did charge the battery. And I wanna be able to examine it for my first time with you guys. To me, that's a true, honest review. So far, it didn't take me long to figure out where to adjust the chain. It's got a great balance, a great weight. I don't know how well the battery's gonna hold up. We're gonna find out together. But like I said, the price, if this thing performs for the price, yeah, I'll be getting my daughter one for Mother's Day. I said my daughter. Yes, she's kind of like me. She's outdoorsy. <laughs> I hope y'all can hear me over the noise. Buddy's out there trying to get some of these leaves blowed in piles so we can get, get them composted. Y'all, the wind is horrible, but we're going to do this. Now, if you can see, this is just one of many trees that has just been taken over by weeds and vines and um, it's, it's just a hot mess, I'll be honest with you. And we have probably 15 more to go. So what we've been doing is just cleaning out, getting all the vine underbrush and all of that cleaned out underneath these trees. And then he goes in and he climbs and he cleans the tree limbs. But it's this junk that I was talking about that I would like to do when he's at work so that helps him when he gets in and daylight's still available, he can do a project for an hour until it gets dark. So with safety glasses on, and I do like these yellow lenses, I can see clear with them. Um, the sun actually doesn't blind it, like it reflects it off, but it's a clear picture. Always have your gloves. These are my new gloves I got for Christmas because my other ones, that is a hot mess. But here we go. And like I said, the one thing about this, it's not for left-handers, but we're going to see if I can engage it the center of my index finger. And I won't be able to with these gloves, but I can use this one. That is going to be a problem for a left-hander. But I don't see many, many things out there for left-handers. We might need to write to these companies and say, hey, there's left-handers in this world too. So we're gonna and we're gonna see how well it cuts. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I hit a knot. So of course I released the button and I had to take my right finger to get it back on again. So Right now, it's a no-go for me. And that's only because I'm not able to control it with my left hand engaging the power on this. And I can't sit there and keep doing this with two fingers to get it to operate. But I've got to finish what I started. Um, I saw my review right now is it's no good for a left-hander now if you can right-hand it and guys I can't not with the plate that's in this hand so I couldn't even attempt but I want to see how well it cuts because there's right-handed people out there I want to see how well it cuts if I can keep my finger on the button Okay, safety first, always remove your battery. Now, I do see a few little twigs in here and I'm gonna see if I can get them out. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. Very easy to clean out, guys. 
and it wasn't so bad I just had to keep it running in order to if you can see I cleaned this whole spot out in a matter of a minute um, so let's go talk about this I guess I pretty well said my opinion but yeah for the money and the performance now the performance it performed amazing very sharp it was smooth now i did have some vines these vines won't be smooth but i can see where i could use this to prune and do smaller task jobs to keep me from away from these big chainsaws because guys can't pick them up um but the downfall is this is not made for a left-hander. If it was, my overall review would be go out and get one of these. I'm being honest. Um, but for that, uh, I can't give it my personal highest review just, just because it's very hard for me to use being left-handed. I like the way that it doesn't have an oil reservoir. You can manually oil it as you use it. And I do like to keep an old blade. I like the way you can adjust the tension here as well as here. So they've made it very, they designed it very functional to do that. Um, I did notice when I was hitting some of the vines that this properly worked. This guard would go up and come down. Um, yeah, I like it. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't know how long the battery's going to last. I'm going to have my husband test it because I want to run it down and I want to see throughout today. This is early Sunday morning. I want to see how many hours we get off of this 20 volt. But so far, I would say great. It's great. But not for a left-hander. So, as always, guys, stay safe, stay well, and God bless. Um, I'll leave all the information in the description very affordable very user friendly and it does have some good safety features but this this is useless unless you got some tiny hands because if i'd have had this glove on i couldn't have got my hand in there but that's not a big deal all right do your research but shaker thank you for sending this for my personal review um, and maybe the next model, you can make it amidestrious. Just saying. See y'all.